Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Forex PNL. Today is um, Sunday, the 7th of May 2023, and um, it's time for me to do another um, video that you guys have pretty much um, asked me for. And um, that video is in relation to the Copy Trader tool that I use. And um, as you guys already know, um, the Copy Trader tool that I use is um, Social Trader Tools. So today I'm going to be doing a review of um, Social Trader Tools just to show you guys exactly how I use it um, to copy my trade, guys. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, this is pretty much like my quote unquote um, only employee that i have when it comes to my trading okay so what i want to do is to work you guys from end to end and um, try as much as possible to explain the different features and um, settings that we have on social trader tools so that if you guys are interested um you guys can go ahead and use it um just to let you guys know i am not you know this is not an affiliate um video this is not i'm just doing this review so that you guys can um you know see exactly how i use um social trader tools to copy my trades okay all right so um just for a start the way that i normally go is obviously you want to go to google um search for your social trader tools and then it brings up their their website you can see here www.socialtradertools.com all right and then you go ahead and you click on that okay um this is if obviously if you are new to um social trader tools right and then you can either go to um get started if you're new and then if you already have an account you can just go ahead and log in okay so just to assume that i am new okay uh let's click on get started and see what comes up so it gives you a page for you to sign up okay provide your full name your email address um look at this little email um this uh, notice they have here uh, i think you might be better off using uh, an email that is not like a yahoo email okay maybe like a gmail um, will work okay um then you set your password for your account you know enter the password again to confirm and then you sign up all right that is how you create an account okay like i told you guys i already have an account so what i'll do now is i'll go ahead and um, log in all right and let me go ahead and do that one second all right so now i am inside my account so what i have done um before i started recording this video is that i went ahead and deleted all the um trading accounts that I already have there and all the copiers that I have because I want to use this opportunity to kind of show you guys exactly how I do it, okay? So first thing that stands out here, obviously you can see I'm now logged into my account. Um, this is my profile information here. I blurred it out obviously because um, that's my name. I really don't want to show that out there. And then here you see this 20 here. So this 20 here is current is my current um, account hosting information. So what this means is um, I am signed up to have up to 20 accounts um, um, you know linked in my in this particular copy trader you can always upgrade or you know scale down depending on your needs and um, you know if I go down here let me go to maybe add hosting if you go to add hosting it's already telling me that you already have an active subscription to increase your capacity upgrade your account package okay so I'm not trying to upgrade it um, 20 right now is a lot I'm not even using it up to the max okay um, let me see how can I get to that page yes manage so if you go to manage you're going to see the different account offerings okay so you can see here it's telling me um, right now I'm signed up for the premium okay up to 20 accounts and uh, my status is currently active and that my next renewal date is um, 22nd of May 2023 okay if you want to cancel your subscription or if you want to update your payment method you know you can do all of that in here okay but this is the package that they have uh, if you want to the standard package that's um, up to two accounts um, that is going to be like um, you know 20 per month 20 dollars per month okay um, for me you can see it's saying downgrade because right now I'm currently in the premium um, accounts okay but you can see the different um, offerings they have plus pro premium rolling 40 rolling 80 i mean this is when you now have multiple accounts just imagine you can link up to 300 accounts up to 600 and something accounts this is when you now start doing like management proper okay but um right now i have the up to 20 accounts so what that means is i can link up to 20 accounts i can add up to 20 accounts in my um you know my social trader tools and it can do the copying for me at this point and right now what it's costing me is about 220 dollars per month and the reason why i signed up for this is because you know very soon i know i'm going to be at this um 20 and um also um you know i have plans of taking on more funded challenges okay so i know that you know very soon i'll be very close to this 40 anyways th this um 20 accounts anyways all right but again you know go according to your needs if you want like um 20 dollars per month 60 dollars per month for five accounts um 120 dollars per month for 10 accounts and if you want the premium that i'm currently on that's um, 220 dollars per month 
for 20 accounts okay um so and so on and so forth so this is for the pricing okay play around with it and you know you can always upgrade and downgrade anytime okay it's up to you now um that's it for the billing section now let's go back to like the accounts okay so if i go to the dashboard right now the dashboard section is where you would normally see your account information okay the different accounts that you have added that is this is where it will pop up you will see that when i start adding my accounts right now this page would not look this way anymore it will now show you the information of my different accounts that i have added okay so to do that what we'll do is we'll go under the configurator that is where you, you know every that is where everything happens okay um so if you go under the configurator you have the accounts the account section is where you go ahead and you add your accounts okay and then the trade copier section is where you go and add your you know the copier you actually go and you know select which accounts you want to copy to and from okay so the first thing obviously since we don't have any accounts added the first thing we're going to do is to add the accounts and then thereafter we will now go ahead and you know set up the trade copy so if i click on the accounts um you see right now it's showing broker maintenance you know because this is a weekend you know sometimes brokers will service their servers um over the weekend and you know you might not get a connection but you know this is just a warning that doesn't necessarily mean that um you know they're not going to be available we'll find out um you know i will also show you guys how you know if the connection was established or not okay all right now um you see here it says um no accounts have been added so right now i'm going to go ahead and click on the add accounts and you see here um this is where you add the accounts uh you can add an mt4 account or you can add an mt5 account enter like a descriptive name maybe a name you want to use in remembering the accounts that you're adding and then um you know the account number for the account like your login and the account password you know like your mt4 password and um you know the broker name and you'll also select the server and then you click on add accounts so let's go ahead and do that right now um the first account i'm going to be adding will be my funded next um funded account the 100k funded next account that i've already received um it's the new account obviously i've not started trading it uh, and uh, let's go ahead it's an mt4 so i'm going to leave it at mt4 and then for the descriptive name i'm just going to call that um 100 um k uh funded next um account funded account i'll call it funded okay and that is going to be the um descriptive name for this account now for the account number i'm going to go ahead and put the account number and i'll also put in the password all right and then for the broker right now um um, funded next is using eight cap so if i tap eight and then i go up you select eight cap and uh, the broker server so the server that this is on is um, um eight cap real four so that's this one and that's it we go ahead and we click on add account and um, you will see it's created the account successfully this is now the account uh, one thing to note here is this right um you can see right here it's still connecting it's still in progress this account has the connection has not been established when the connection is established you will see that this right here is going to turn into a green check mark okay i'm still going to walk you guys through um completely let's so let's go ahead and start uh, adding other accounts while this one is still installing you can see it stays installing it's not yet connected okay now let's go ahead click on add account again and now let me go ahead and add the um, FTMO accounts that I currently have. Remember, I have my um, phase two verification accounts still running, just trying to get the minimum trading days, but I still have them running. So I'll go ahead and I'll add those um, accounts, okay, in here. Now for my FTMO accounts, they are empty five, okay? So that's actually good because you guys get to see the, the variety. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we select MT5. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna call it um, 200K um, FTMO phase 2A. You see, I already have it in here. Okay, um, account number, I put it in. And then the password, I will also put in the password. And um, select the broker. Obviously, this is your FTMO. So let me type F and um, scroll down and find the ftmo right here you click on ftmo and then you select the server uh i have it in here and then you click on add accounts okay so this adds the first one okay notice here notice here that this account did not establish connection 
all right you can see here connection attempt failed uh we are going to re revisit that and figure out what happened okay but the connection was not established okay maybe because of the server maintenance that they talked about here or for some reason we are still going to try again but i actually like the fact that um it didn't connect so that you guys will see how i go about with the whole troubleshooting okay all right now um so this is the first um ftmo account let's go ahead and add the second one all right like i said it's an mt5 and then um, the descriptive name for the second one is going to be 200K um, phase 2B. I don't have it here. One second. 200K FTMO phase 2B right here. Okay. So you see, I already have those um, added in the past. That's why it's suggesting it for me. The way that I normally like to have this is, you know, I add the amount, um, the, the, the prop frame, the phase, and the target for that particular phase, all right? It makes it easy for me to navigate, okay? And one thing you will notice is as I'm adding accounts, you notice that the number of accounts here is decreasing. We started at 20, and now we are at 18 because we've added two accounts. By the time I add this third one, it will now be 17 accounts, okay? You get the idea. So let me go ahead and add this second one. Um, one second um, this and then add the password this and then go back select the broker FTMO and um, select the server as well okay so the server is FTMO server so let's go ahead do that so we add the account and right now you can see that um, this is now the third account notice something you see the check mark that we have here that means that the connection was established once you get this green check mark that means the connection was established okay so like i said let's just continue adding the accounts and um and um you know we'll revisit that first one and see what's going on okay now i'll try to add the um the 200k um funded next and phase two accounts that i have okay and see exactly what's going on now um this one is also like an mt4 Okay, so we'll do descriptive name. So this is your 200K funded next. I already had it in here, so I'll just put it there. And um, I'll select the account number. All right, and then I'll add the password. And then I'll select the broker 8cap. And then I'll select the server demo two, and then I'll add this one. All right, and as you can see now, the um, second FTMO account also processed and went through, and now we're trying to install the unfunded um, next um, phase two account. Okay, so again, let's continue adding. We have more accounts to uh, add. I'll go ahead and add the three hundred k my forex funds. All right, my forex funds. So this is now the funded account. So funded, uh, we'll go ahead and pull that information right now. Give me one second, guys. Add the password. And then um, I'll select the broker. They use um, Traders Global. So let's go find that broker. Um, where is it right here trader global group that is what they use and i'm going to select um the um server okay and then we'll go ahead now this is actually mt5 so let me go ahead and select mt5 and then um do this again traders global group and select the server correct okay and then i'll add the account all right so um again this account is loading. Let me go add the Blue Guardian account. That one is also an MT5. The descriptive name will be um, 200K um, Blue Guardian. Okay, this will be first two A. Um, account number, let me see. Let me go get that, put it in here. Uh, grab the password, put it in here and then select the broker they also use eight cap so um let me go ahead select eight cap um select the server eight cap demo right here okay so and then try to add it as well okay 
So I believe I've added um, the accounts. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to walk you guys through. So what you can see here, let's go back and revisit this um, 100K funded next account and see exactly the reason why it's not getting added, okay? Um, you can see the, the, the my first, the, the funded next phase two got, got added, but the, um, the funded one did not get added. So let me go ahead and see exactly what's going on and the reason as to why that is happening, okay? Um, so um, what I did was I took a little break and um, you know just deleted the account again and added it again and you can see right now it is um, connected. So as you can see um, I have gone ahead and connected all the accounts that I want at this point okay and um, so now we have um, one two three four five six and you can see um, now it's saying I still have about 14 accounts that I can add okay. Now, um, we've added the accounts and like I said, after adding the accounts, obviously the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and now create the copier rule, right? To add, you know, the trade copier. Now, the next thing now is you go under configurator again and then you move to your trade copier, okay? If you move to your trade copier, it, you see the option about creating copier. So you click on that. Um, here it gives you information of, you know, which account you want to copy from and which account you want to send the trades to um the risk type you have different options we're still going to explore those okay and um there's a multiplier pretty much uh if the, if you do want how by, by how much do you want to multiply the the risk from the account you're copying to the account you're copying to okay and then do you want to copy existing trades no or yes so there are different settings here so let's go ahead and um, set this up so like i said this is the funded um 100k funded next account so that's the one i want to be the master account so that's the account i'm going to be copying from so i'm not going to touch it um now next one is send to so let's send first of all to the blue guardian um phase two account okay and then the risk type so for the risk type for this particular account i'm just going to make it um fixed lot the reason why i make want to make this a fixed lot is because remember for these accounts all i'm trying to do right now is just to meet the minimum trading days um requirements so um all i want to do is regardless of the um size of the trade that i take in my funded account i want it to open a fixed lot on this particular account so i'm going to set that fixed lot now to 0 0.01 okay and do i want it to copy existing trades no i don't like to copy existing trades okay and regardless i don't even have any existing trades um on this particular account so i'll go ahead and create the copier uh accept the terms and you know create copier so that's the first one okay now whenever you create a copier you notice something here um it's not yet active this red here shows you it is not yet active so you click on this and now you have the option to turn the copier on, okay, uh, or monitor existing trades. Right now you can see that the copier is the copier mode is still off. So go ahead and you toggle that to on, and you update, and you see once it turns green, now the copier is active. Now if I place a trade on this hundred k um, funded next um, funded account, it will be copied um, based on what I have specified in the copier rule, okay, to this other account here. So again, I've created the copier for the first account. I go ahead and you create the copier for the other accounts, okay. So again, I'm still copying from this master account um, to the next one, which is my FTMO phase two A. All right. Now. Um, um, what I would do in this case is very simple. Again, fixed lots, um, 0 0.01, okay? 0 0.01 lots, and then um, copy existing trades, no. Accept the terms and create a copier. So you see, once you get a hang of it, you can do this in 15 seconds. And you know, you just go here, um, toggle this to on, and you update, okay? You create the next copier, all right? I'm not touching this, um, and then we go to the next account. Um, fixed lots 0 0.01 all right um, cop create copier accept terms create copier okay toggle this to on okay and then I'll do the thing next same thing for the remaining accounts now this is the funded next phase 2 which is also now um, I'm just waiting for the minimum trading days to hit so I'll just make this some um, 0 0.01 as well um, and then create my copier accept the rules and create copy okay and i'll toggle this to on and um i'll create the last one 
which I'll be mirroring to my Forex funds. Now, this one is my funded account, okay? So uh, I'm not going to be using the, the fixed lot size, okay? So here things are going to be a little different, which is why I kind of made this video because you guys get to see the different options, okay? Um, I don't use risk multiplier by balance. So what I do is the lot multiplier. So lot multiplier is pretty much by how much do I want the lot size to be multiplied, okay? Um, you know based on the amount of lots that i have taken on the um the the the, the, the master account this 100k account so i've done the math for myself and i know that that mathematics is the multiplier that i want to use is 3.6 okay so i'm copying from a 100k account to a 300k account and my multiplier is what 3.6 so what that means is if i enter one lot on the 100k funded next funded account it's going to copy it to what multiply that one lot by 3.6 so what the trade that will be opened on my max forex fund funded account will be what 3.6 lots okay one lot times 3.6 one lot multiplied by the multiplier okay i hope that makes sense and then uh, right now you create copy as well accept the terms and you create your copy okay so again we go ahead and we toggle this to on and we click on update so right now I have set up the um, trade copier completely, okay, for the accounts that I want in this trade copier. So all I have to do at this point, since I have added these accounts and set up this trade copier, the only thing that I have to do at this point is pretty much go in, okay, to my funded um, next account and just trade on that particular account. And the trade copier, this social trader tools is going to take care of distributing the, the trades um, based on the copier rules that I have set up. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now, um, some few settings here. Okay, now I like to now let's go back to the um, dashboard and see what it's looking like. Now, you see the dashboard is now pretty much listing all the accounts that I have added. Okay, so imagine if you have 20 accounts here it's going to show you everything. Now you can see that my Forex funds is showing you right now that what my equity is not at 100%. And the reason is because I currently have a trade um, open in that my Forex funds funded account. Okay, this is the first trade I have taken in that account so i left it open over the weekend it's a longer term trade okay and uh, you can see right now that um that trade is open and your equity here is going to be changing based on you know how your trades are going okay and it shows you um you know your performance for the day your profits and loss for the day um your profits and loss for the week your profits and loss for the month and so on and so forth okay so you can manage your trades in here now if you wanted to see like um the statistics of one of your accounts you can just click it on here and it shows you the statistics for that particular account so i'm now going to be clicking i clicked on the um, ftmo it's loading so you can see what it's showing me here um let me see the reason why this graph looks this way is because of um you know it's looking at it by the day and it's not much change this is still 5.91 5.91 let me see what it's going to have here. Let's go to balance. So you see by the day, nothing much changes. So you see here, it's showing you the growth on this account is 5.91%. The profit and loss on this account is 11,800. Um, 11, balance 211, equity percent 100. And um, you know, it shows you the other things in here, how many trades you have won, uh, um, your win-loss ratio, you know, longs one versus shorts one, and so on and so forth. Pretty much shows you um, the trades that you have open. Uh, if you go to close trades, it shows you the close trades as well. Okay, so um, that is it for this particular section. Is there anything I'm missing in the dashboard area? I don't think so. So that is it for the dashboard, guys. Okay, now let's go back to the um, configurator and let's take a look at the accounts. So let's say for some reason now you want to go ahead and delete an account. You don't want the account to be um, part of this copy anymore. All you have to do is to click on this red um, trash can and it's going to delete that particular account. You can see once I hover over it, it shows you um, what delete account. Okay. And um, you see this option here is showing you that the account is connected. Once it's green, obviously it tells you that the account is connected. If it's not connected, this is not going to be green in color. Okay. So let's see um, the options we have. So it's showing you connected, you know, the account information. So the next option we have here is the account configuration. So this is another place you might want to go in and maybe set up a few things. All right. So you can see it tells you the descriptive name of the account, gives you the account information. If you wanted to update that, the, the, the name of the, uh, the descriptive name you give to that account, you can do that here. Okay. But I don't want to do that. I'm just showing you guys. Um, you see here, it shows you like your equity protection feature. Okay. If you wanted to use those. Okay. Um, 
uh, you can set up an email alert so that you know once your equity gets to a certain level it's going to alert you okay uh, i'm not doing that okay i don't need that feature now your forex suffix so these are the different um forex account um, accounts that you uh, and symbols that you have on this particular account and disable symbols now if there is a symbol that you don't want to um, copy the trades over for example this is where you do that so here is showing you pretty much all the um, um you know symbols that you have on this particular um you know for this particular account okay and you can see aud this aud that now you see here it's showing you that i have 103 enabled symbols and zero disabled symbols i'm not trying to disable any symbol okay um but if i wanted to this is where i can you know go ahead and do that now this can come in handy where you know sometimes for some prop firms they tell you you cannot trade so so and so instruments and so on and so forth right so you can just to prevent that from making that mistake you can just come in here and disable that symbol so that even if you do make a mistake um in the and place a trade in that particular instrument uh, in your master account, it is not going to copy it over because you have disabled that symbol for this particular account. Okay, I hope this is making sense. And again, if you have any special questions, feel free to um, let me know in the comment section and I'll clarify you to the best of my ability. Okay, so that is it for this particular section. Now, well, let's go back to my accounts. Um, is there anything I'm missing? What is here? This is your account logs. This is if you wanted to see like the information of your account, okay? Um, you know, and so on and so forth. So um, that is pretty much, uh, you know, what you need. Every other thing here is just like an addition. Um, I've shown you the equity protection. I've shown you this. Um, there is one feature I'm looking for. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, okay? Um, let me remember where I find that. That is where it sends emails. So usually if you leave this account the way it is right now, whenever you place a trade, it's going to send you an email, okay, um, that a trade has now been opened, which again is good because, you know, that way you know for a fact that the copier is working. And if you close a trade, it's also going to send you an email and let you know, okay, this trade has been closed, okay. But, you know, what I've noticed for myself is it's just keeps the emails just keep coming in and i don't really like that feature so i usually go and i turn that off i'm just trying to remember exactly where i go to to do that okay let me see let me play around with this a little bit um i think it's email alerts let me click on email alerts um yes so um you can see here it's showing you the different from times when it's going to place an um, send you an email okay so when it opens a trade if you check this box then it's going to send you an email whenever you open a trade okay if you check this box it's going to send you an email whenever the trade is closed whenever the take profit is hit stop loss is hit new price not executed personally i don't want it to send me emails um whenever i open the trade or close the trade the only time i want it to send me an email is when a trade is not executed because that is when um you know the trades did not get copied from the master accounts to the um, other accounts that i have on my copy okay so you see i'm going to leave all of this um on so that that way even you don't need all of this you can even remove as much as you want and just keep one of them so that you receive just one email because right now i'm going to be receiving um about six or seven emails depending on how many copiers i have on here okay so um that is another feature that i use and um, i'll just go ahead click on update and it's going to update that for me so i think that is all oh no there's one more feature there's one more feature that you know comes in handy where i i, sh I asked it to copy my stop loss okay so let me see I, I'm under copier i believe it's going to be under copier so if you go under the copier exactly this is what i was looking for you see where it says um general um copy from copy to copier mode is on so i don't have any updates to make on this page but now if we go under the risk settings you see here it shows you reverse trades no so what this means is if you wanted a situation whereby if you bought on one account it's going to sp open a sell on the account you're copying to then you set the reverse trades to yes but since i'm copying directly i want it to do exactly the same um type of trade that i am placing on the uh, master account i am going to leave this as no okay here is showing me my my risk type remember i set it to lot multiplier and the multiplier that i selected was um 3.6 here is showing you the slippage okay so you see here the slippage is you know i said it this is 
um, basically set to 20 that's pretty much um in case there is a delay in placing the trades and there is a quick price movement right how much slippage are you willing to allow um you know more, more like um a a a, a will i say a band where even if you don't get that that exact price it can still open the trade for you um as long as we are within that margin of error okay so here it's at 20 the only thing i don't know right now is is this 20 points or 20 pips or 20 pips that is what i don't know for a fact okay so um again this is probably something you can easily find out from support if you go to the help center you can find that out but uh, what i've noticed is um if i leave it at 20 all my trades usually get copied so that's why i've not really bothered to find out okay now max loss is 50 so right now if you wanted um to set your max loss you can, right now it's saying it will not place more than 50 lots um on uh, you know the, the maximum lot that you can place on this account right now is 50 okay do you want to force a minimum lot no and update i didn't change anything here so there's nothing to update now stop and limit this is where i normally change things okay you see where it says copy pending orders no i don't touch this but copy stop loss i usually put this to yes okay and the reason why i said this to yes is because um i want a situation whereby once i'm placing the trade on the master account and it's copying it over to the um, um this other account i want it to also copy the stop loss okay um this is going to come in handy let's say you have a prop firm where they want you to always put a stop loss in when you're placing the trade if you set up your copier without you know toggling this copy stop loss to yes it's going to open the trade and it will not copy the stop loss over all right so this is a very very important feature guys so make sure that you're always um, copying that stop loss okay another thing um uh, another place situation whereby this can come in handy is let's say you've placed a trade and for some reason you lose connection okay because the stop loss is not copied on the um other accounts it's not going to close the trade right because the trade is open there's no stop loss um, copied over so in my opinion it's really going to be very very advantageous if you copy the stop loss at the time when you are placing the trade okay um that's that's been that this is just my two cents okay so because i changed something in this page i will go ahead and do what update and it's going to allow me here um it was updated successfully and um disable symbols if there's any symbol i wanted to disable this is where i do it and um map symbols if there's anything you wanted to map there's nothing so um again i'll go back to my copier and again i'll have to do this for all the accounts so i think i just did it for the first one let me be sure uh, i think i'm here no yes no yep so this is the one i made the change on so i'll go ahead and i'll make the same change on the other accounts as well so go into the stop limits and i toggle this to yes update okay and then go into the third one okay toggle this to yes and update okay and go into the fourth one toggle this to yes and update and uh, i'll go into the final one okay and go into stop and limits toggle this to yes and update so i've done that for all the accounts now so whenever i place a trade on the master accounts okay it will copy the trades with their stop loss to you know this particular um accounts that i'm copying the trades to so in here you can see in a in a in a clear picture um you know what exactly what is going on all right it's showing you that the the, the master account is this one that is listed here the 100k funded next um funded account that is my master account it's copying trades to my funded um my forex funds um funded account is copying to my funded next phase two is copying to my 200k um phase two um ftmo accounts and also to my blue guidance accounts right so um these are it and it's telling, showing you the risk type that it's lot multiplier at 3.6 okay and these other ones are fixed lots okay at 0 0.01 okay and it's showing you the direction this is all green so everything is looking um good at this point um as far as i'm concerned now let's say you wanted to create another set of copiers okay i'm not going to do that but i'm just going to talk through that let's say i wanted to let's say create another set of copiers right now i can still maybe copy trades from this account to another account okay all that will happen is when i'm done creating the copier i will have this account and i will also have another um set of copier um you know let's say another set of um copier accounts okay group copier 
below this particular one i don't know if i'm explaining it properly but you know once you start copying this just copy it um play around with the tool and you will see exactly um how to use it but what i've explained to you so far is more than enough for you to get this tool working and you know copying your trades over for you okay i hope this video is valuable um you know if it is guys please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and um, click on that notification bell so that you guys will always get updates whenever i post a video okay so um that's it for me for now um cheers and see you on the next video bye bye